All right, so absolute value integration. So like I was saying, this doesn't like pop up on the AP test a lot, but occasionally. So we're going to do some of these. Is this also recommended? Yeah, it's like notes slash homework. All right, so it says sketch rough graphs of the areas represented by the integrals without using a calculator to solve. So I don't want you to just put in the absolute value of the function in your calculator and see what it looks like. I want you to try to think about what it looks like. All right, so think about it. If I had 2x minus 3, if I just had that, no absolute values around it, what does that look like? It's a line with slope 2, y-intercept, negative 3. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sketch that out at first just so you can see what that looks like. So you go down to negative 3. You'd go up to right 1. Up to right 1. So you'd have this line. Okay, but what does the absolute value do to a number? It makes it positive. It makes it positive, right? So what's going to happen to all these negative, oops, <laughs> all those negative y values? <laughs> Yeah, they're going to become positive. So your graph is really going to look like all these positive numbers, and then all of a sudden, boop, the rest of it goes up. So that's why absolute values are V-shapes. Okay, so what is the area represented by this uh, integral? So we go from negative 1 to 5. So it looks something like that. So you can find this with integration, or you could just say, oh, these are triangles. I'm going to find the area of the triangles. Do you guys see? Okay, so if I'm at 5 for my x value, what's my y value? Plug in 5 here. 7. So this is 5, 7. If I'm at negative 1, what's my y value? 5. I didn't draw it very well, did I? So negative 1, 5. They look like the same height. Okay, so this triangle on the right, the one I'm coloring in blue, that's going to be 1 half base times height. So my base, where does it start? This is kind of tricky. It, yeah, it's 1 and a half to 5. So that's going to be 3.5 units, and it goes to a height of 7. So it's 3 and a half times 3 and a half. So 12.25. And then this triangle, which I'm putting in green, that started at one and a half, and it goes over to one. So its base is two and a half, or it goes over to negative one, I guess. So one and a half times two point five, and the height is five. Okay, so that's six point two five. Okay, so my whole area is 6.25 plus 12.25, which is 18.5. Okay. So I did all of that without even really using any calculus, right? Just drawing a picture. Okay, so how about this one? So think about what this one's going to look like. So what would number two look like? I'll let you guys try it on your own. So you're doing your homework as you go along. Okay, so you should get the area of these two triangles here. Um, your two points that are important are 4, 2, and negative 3, 5. Did you guys get those two points? So you're just plugging into the absolute value and finding the y value. All right, um, so I have two triangles. What's the area of the triangle on the left? Did anybody get that one? 12.5. What's the area of the triangle on the right? 2. So do 12.5 plus 2, so your total area is 14.5. Okay. I would say of the ones that I do see on the AP test occasionally, they're usually these nice linear functions, you know, where you can sketch it out like that and just do the two triangles. Okay. All right, so how about this next one? So I have from 3 to 8, 5 minus the absolute value of x minus 5. So you can still do this kind of like sketching out trick, so you can sketch it out. But here's what's going to happen when you're, I would do like one step at a time. So if I had just this x minus 5 part in absolute values, think about what just that part looks like right now. 
So I'd go down to negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'd have a slope of 1, so I'd cross through 5. But then all those negative parts are now going to be positive. So all the negative y values. Okay, so that's what the absolute value of x minus 5 looks like, just that blue v. All right, what if I have a negative out front of that? What does that do? Yeah. Yep, it now flips it over. So now I have this one, the red one. What about the plus 5? The red one. And we now have the red with the negative. So this part's red. And then if I have 5, yeah, you're just tacking on of adding 5, like you're adding 5 at the end, right? So we always know that when you add 5, it just shifts it up. So now I would have over at 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The point is going to be at 5, 5. Because it went from 0 and I went up 5. All right, and then my slope is still 1. So 1 and negative 1 for the other part. So that means if I'm at 5, 5, and I'm going down 1, left 1, down 1, left 1, which you guys see you're going to be at 0, 0. And the other one's going to be at 10, 0. OK, so you have this triangle. OK, so your last step is to find the area of it. Oh, I guess I'm only going from 3 to 8, aren't I? So 3 to 8. So that's my area. But it's really hard to see. <laughs> I'll just make it really black. All right, fine. OK, so you could find the area of the big triangle and then subtract out the two little triangles. You could do that. Um, you could, I don't know if you'll see this line. See that green line I'm drawing? Kind of, not really. You could find the rectangle here and then add on the little triangle. It doesn't matter how you, how you find this. Yeah, but this area, this rectangle, it, it goes from 3 to 8, so it's 5 units, and the height of it is... Oh, I see what you're saying. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to learn some integration now. <laughs> I like that. Straight up. Oh, this is just geometry. Good geometry. <laughs> it's very advanced. OK, so let's find the area of the big triangle. So it's 1 half. Your base is 10. And then your height is, how high does it go? 5. Oh, yeah, duh, 5. <laughs> 25. So that's going to be 25. All right, and then we're going to subtract out the area of this little triangle here. So that one has a base of 3 and a height of 3. So 1 half base height. And then subtract out the one over here. So that one's 1 half. Your base is 2 and your height is 2. So it's 25 minus 4.5 minus 2. 18.5. So we get that. All right, I'll leave four for you guys to do for your homework. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try the next one. The trick, the integration? Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> All right, so these ones are the harder ones. So these ones you can actually just, well, you can sketch them, but it's, it's hard to. I don't know. It's not like just triangles that you're finding the area of. All right, so let's talk about this. So if I have x squared plus 2x minus 3, what does x squared plus 2x minus 3 look like? Parabola. Do you know the zeros of the parabola? It's x minus or plus 3 times x minus 1. So the zeros are at negative 3 and positive 1. So zeros are the x-intercepts. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3 over 1. Does my problem go upwards or downwards? Uh, upwards, right. So if it was just the parabola, it would look like this. But I have an absolute value, so what happens? 
you? Kind of, yeah. It's going to come down. It pops up there. And then it goes like that. So anything that was negative is now flipped to the positive side. So if I'm finding the area from negative 4 to 2, negative 4 is right here. So I'm going right there. And then to 2, that's right there. So here's the area you're finding. I'll draw it in red. That triangle plus that part of the parabola plus that little triangle. Okay, there are equations to find the area under a parabola. Crazy stuff. But we don't know those. So that's just using calculus, basically. All right, so what are we going to do? Integrate. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 you got it. Good. Do you see what Nick said? He said this part just flipped over, so it's really the opposite of this whole parabola. It's negative x squared minus 2x plus 3. It's the opposite. All right, so you're going to integrate that from 2 to 1 because that's where it stops. It goes from 2 to 1. So let's set it up. So I'm going to have negative 2 to 1. Thank you. I've been on spring break too. <laughs> So it's going to be negative x squared minus 2x plus 3. Because um, um, whenever you're, like we had this line, but now we flipped it over the axis. Whenever you reflect over the axis, remember you multiply by a negative out front. Oh, okay. All your y values become opposite. Okay. Yep, so plus, you can integrate this part, but again, these are just triangles. So you could actually find what those triangles are if you want. But we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll do integration. So I'm going to go from, what was that, negative 4 to negative 2 of the positive part. Negative 4 to 2, negative 2 right here. And then from 1 to 2 here. So Steve, you still like this integration thing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So we'll take a second and find what that is. Let me pause this. So 13.667 or 13 thirds. Yeah. They math nine it. Where's Kwame to say, what's math nine? You said, what's school? All right, so you guys will be able to do number six now. We'll take a little bit. All right, so how about number seven? So I have cosine of x going from negative pi to pi over six. So it's cosine of x in absolute values. So think about what cosine looks like. Just a quick question. Yes. Um, so all those. The limits of integration are just the zeros in each area? Uh-huh, because we had everything. Did you, did you see my picture? Yeah. Our triangle went from negative 4 to negative 3, um, and that was an enclosed space there. And then we had this enclosed space in the other one. Okay. So. Gotcha. Okay, so I have cosine. When is cosine equal to 0? Pi over 2. Did you say pi over 2? Pi over 2 degrees. <laughs> okay, so at pi, it's equal to negative 1. Think of your unit circle. Yeah. Okay. So we're going from negative pi to pi over 6. So we have this little, like, hill shape. So that's negative pi. Okay, but we have the absolute value. So when I take the absolute value, it's really going to go like this. Okay. It's just going from negative pi, and then it stops at pi over 6. So it's going to like right there. 